So we're going to be playing Simply Cosmic, which is a introductory version of Cosmic Encounter. Uh, this is based off of the 90s Mayfair edition of Cosmic Encounter, so it doesn't match the version that's out now. Um, if you happen to have the old Mayfair edition, then it can be used uh, as an expansion for that, so you can play with up to 10 players, because the player colors don't match, so, um, you know, it's kind of an expansion, and also, it's a standalone game. Um, if you've never heard of Cosmic Encounter, then it's a game about being alien races and wanting to conquer the galaxy and uh, spread your uh, bases out on other people's planets. So I'm going to set it up and talk to you about it. Okay, so this is Simply Cosmic set up for a three-player game. What you're going to do is you're going to take uh, the pieces for uh, the individual player colors, and uh, because it's three-player, I'm not going to use this uh, tan one. Um, you're going to connect them into the central warp piece, like so, and then you're going to put four of each of your player color pieces on your five respective planets so that there's an even distribution across your whole zone. Then you're going to take this challenge deck. It's made up of a bunch of different types of cards. You're going to shuffle them all up and you're going to deal seven to each player. I'll talk about uh, all the different types of cards you're going to see in the deck in a minute. Uh, you will cut, shuffle and cut the destiny deck to determine who the start player is, Lavender. If you are playing with fewer than the full complement of players, then you want to remove any cards from the Destiny deck that refer to the colors that are not being used. So we're not using tan in this game, so anything that would say tan on it would be removed. The last thing you need to do is take the characters that are available and deal one randomly to each player. In this three-player game, we're going to have uh, Zombie, Sorcerer, and Filch. There are also a couple of reference sheets if you want to you know, hand those out to people. Okay, so you got alien power cards. They are going to have uh, special abilities with uh, this iconography going on at the top. Uh, the ones that you want to pay attention to are this infinity symbol. Uh, whenever you see that on a card or ability, that means that that ability can take place at any time during the game. The other icons you'll see are referring to specific stages during the game and that tells you at what point during gameplay you are allowed to use that ability. And generally notice that alien abilities have some kind of effect that otherwise breaks the rules of the game, and it's you always want the alien powers to supersede the actual rules of the game. So if they do something that seems weird and funky, uh, it's supposed to be that way. Uh, the object of the game is going to be to establish yourself on... Uh, five planets that are not in your home zone, and that'll end the game. So the first person to get um, their pieces out on five other planets uh, is going to be the winner. The central piece here is called the warp. This is where you're going to be uh, placing these pieces whenever they get lost in battle. Uh, I'll talk about battles in a second, but generally speaking, this is just sort of this central pile where all the... Uh, discards uh, of tokens will be and then uh, periodically over the game there are things you can do to remove things from the warp and get them back into your possession so if you ever see something in a deck that's referring to the warp it's talking about this section right here the other thing you've got going on is this hyperspace cone uh, this is what you're going to use uh, you're going to when you're making an attack on someone's planet you're going to point the hyperspace cone at which planet you're attacking and the offensive units go in this oval, and the defending units go in this oval, uh, and then you, you fight it out, and then the losers will go to the, the, the no zone there in the middle, and uh, the winners will uh, go on that planet, unless someone cuts a deal. Again, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so the type of cards you're going to see in this deck. you got challenge cards. There are two types of challenge cards. Uh, you got cards with numbers on them, and then you got compromise cards. Uh, I'll get to those in a minute, but you know, these are two types of challenge cards. 
And the other things you're going to find are flares, edicts, and reinforcements. Uh, reinforcements we'll talk about with the challenge cards. Uh, flares and edicts are basically special power cards. The uh, edicts, you know, you'll just resolve them as they, you know, they tell you to do a thing on the card and they tell you when you can play the card there if you follow the iconography. Um, flares are basically uh, card versions of the special powers that come with the aliens. Uh, if it matches the type of alien that you are, then you use the super section down there, and you get to use a super awesome version of your power whenever you play the card. And again, you're going to follow the iconography when you can play it. This one happens to be play it whenever. Um, if you do not match this type of uh, ability, then you'll use this wild section here, which is a weaker version of it. Uh, at the start of your turn, there's going to be something called the pre-challenge phase. Uh, there's this icon. I'm going to hold up in front of the camera and see if you can see it. It's this thing right here. This icon is the pre-challenge icon, and that means that you can play those cards before anything else happens in uh, the phase. And then it's going to be somebody's turn, and they're going to be the um, offensive main player. Uh, they get to look at their hand, and if they have any challenge cards in their hand, again, that's, you know, either a compromise or an attack card, uh, then they get to make a challenge. If they don't have any challenge cards in their hand, then they can play any legal cards that they're able to play, like uh, any of these if there's iconography that lets them play them at that point in time. And then they could discard their whole hand, draw a new hand of seven cards, and start the pre-challenge phase over again. Once you're done with the pre-challenge phase, uh, you're going to start by being able to um, return any tokens that you have that are in the warp. Um, so as you're playing the game and people are having conflicts, pieces are going to get sent to this uh, no zone in the middle. And at the start of everybody's, um, when they're about to make a challenge at the start of their turn, they're allowed to take one of their pieces and put it on any place, any planet where they already have a piece. And if somehow they don't have any bases um, because all of their pieces are in the warp, then they can take a piece and directly put it on the uh, hyperspace cone. Next, uh, the player is going to take a card from the Destiny deck, you're going to flip it over, and it's going to tell you who you get to target. This one says, make a normal challenge in the system of the player to your left. So, you know, if I were the blue player, I'd go, ah, take that. And you'd choose uh, a planet in the corresponding system. Um, other things that could happen, you could flip up one that's, you know, multicolored like that. And then there's uh, regular Destiny cards and reverse Destiny cards. So, uh, and then there's comments, I'll talk about those too. So this is a regular Destiny card here, and you can see that it just says Mint, and it's obviously like white background, green color, so if I drew that one, then I'd target Mint. If I were Mint, then I could either draw another card, or I could attempt to regain a base in my own system, or I could attempt to eliminate someone's base in a system where I have a base. Uh, so this is a regular card, this is a reverse destiny card. The difference between those isn't going to be obvious right now. Uh, basically what it's saying is when people help you um, in a conflict, when you have uh, alliances, uh, they get a different bonus for allying in an attack versus allying in a defense, and regular versus reverse destiny um, switches those bonuses up. So I'll come back to that later and it'll make sense then. But if you ever see something where it's black like this, then that's a reverse Destiny card. And that's what it's saying is that you, you know, flip this thing over and do uh, the opposite of what normally happens with uh, attack and defense in alliances. The other type of card you might see is this Comet. Uh, it's going to be uh, some kind of effect that's happening for the challenge. Um, this one says, no one can use any alien power during this challenge. If you draw a comet, then you're going to draw another card and, you know, carry on. So Lavender, I could, you know, either draw something else and dump this or, you know, use it with 
uh, my own thing. And then there's a, this is an example of the difference between regular and reverse destiny cards. If you drew a second comet card, uh, you would ignore the second one and only keep the first one that you drew during uh, a challenge phase. So say Lavender here drew this mint card and they're going to choose to attack this mint planet. Uh, what's going to happen is mint's going to be on the defensive and they're going to take their pieces, their bases from that planet and put them on the cone and uh, Lavender can take uh, one to four pieces from anywhere that they have control and put them on the cone. Typically what you'll see happen is people spreading them out and one from each. And so this is uh, the fighting force you are sending off to attack the planet and try to conquer it. This is the defending force. If you are being attacked, you don't have any say over how many you use. You're just all of your forces are going to try to defend the planet. Say uh, Lavender were attacking this planet and it had no pieces on it, then that's totally viable. What it just means is that their you know, sort of base defending power is zero and their base attacking power would be four in this case. Once the uh, attacking player has selected a planet to be challenged and they've attributed their attacking force, which can be one to four pieces, um, they have the option to ask uh, for allies to help them conquer that planet. Uh, the reason you would ally with someone to conquer a planet is if you help them win, then you also get to put a base on their planet. So if Lavender says, I want your help, and uh, Rose here decides to join in the fight and contribute one. If they win, then all of these are going to end up on this planet, and suddenly both of them are now one step closer to victory. After the attacking player has had an opportunity to ask for allies, and no one has to commit at this point, they're just saying, I want help. Um, they don't have to ask for help, they can say, I don't need help. Um, then the defending player has the opportunity to ask for allies or not. Uh, the reason why you would want to help defend the planet is you will get to either draw a card from the challenge deck or retrieve a piece from the warp zone for every token you contribute to the defensive um, act. So if uh, there's only one pink base here, and they end up def successfully defending, then Pink would be able to choose between drawing an, a card to add to their hand, or um, if they had pieces in this uh, central zone, they could retrieve them, put them on one of, their, um, one of their planets that they already have control over. So when I was talking earlier about the reverse uh, cards, that's where the difference is, where um, the bonuses for allying attacking or defense are reversed. So in this case, uh, if this were the card they were up, then um, anybody who's defending is going to get uh, a chance to put a base on that planet that's being attacked. Anybody who's attacking would get a chance to either draw cards or retrieve uh, bases from the warp. Uh, player's not allowed to ally with someone if they don't want help. Um, so, um, and that's the thing that's going to come up a lot where you don't want to help someone, you know, get closer to victory. And if you absolutely are confident that you can handle things on your own, or if you think there's no chance you're going to win anyway, so why bother bringing someone else in and helping them out too? Um, you might as well just, you know, tank the turn or whatever. So like you have options about whether or not you, uh, invite someone to help you out. Stage seven of this phase is where uh, players are going to get uh, a chance to take cards from their hand and play challenge cards uh, face down. There are multiple scenarios that could happen um, based on the types of things that we've got here. So say Mint plays this card and Lavender plays this card. They're going to reveal them at the same time. And if this is a scenario that happens where both players played an attack card, you're going to sum up the number plus the number of tokens on that side. So in this case, it would be 10. And in this case, it would be, you know, 19. So the defending side would win. They would successfully uh, repel the attack. 
In that case, the attacker would send all their ships to the warp. In this scenario, uh, Rose would get to draw a card and add to their hand because they helped defend the base, and uh, Mint would go back to their base. Uh, Rose would then also take their ship back and go you know, back home. If the situation were reversed, and Lavender had played this card and Mint had played that card, and uh, you remember the tokens that are out there, so like you know, this one is obviously a way higher number. Uh, then uh, the attacker would take over the planet, the uh, defender would get sent to the warp, and now the attacker is one step closer to victory by having bases on someone else's planet. And uh, if Rose had been hap helping out with the attacking effort, then they would also go to that planet. Something else that can happen in this section is that players can be playing reinforcement cards to add to their number, and that just kind of happens until people don't want to play cards anymore. If someone just has a ton of reinforcements, then they can just keep adding to it. But you have to be part of the attacking or defending force to play reinforcement cards. You can't be like a bystander who's just throwing cards in the mix. Uh, if when it comes to the challenge phase and the time to play cards face down and you're the defender and you don't have any challenge cards, you can play any legal cards you happen to have in your hand, you know, things that you're allowed to play in that phase, and then you can uh, discard whatever other cards you have in your hand and draw seven cards so that you can play a challenge card. Um, so there really isn't a circumstance where you would be a defender and you wouldn't be able to um, play something. Let's set up a second scenario here. Uh, so. Something else that could happen when you're playing face down cards is something like this, where uh, you'll reveal the cards and one player played an attack card and the other played a compromise card. If it's a situation where one played attack and one played a compromise, then the, the person, person who played the attack card is going to win and you will treat that just like you know you would have um, if both players had played an attack card, you know, you'll resolve wins and losses. Um, but the person who lost is going to get compensation uh, for attempting to negotiate with that player but then getting attacked. Um, the compensation is going to be they'll get to draw cards from that player's hand equal to the number of tokens they contributed to the battle. So um, in this case, Rose wouldn't get to invade this planet and you know they'd lose these two ships. But then they would also get to draw two of these cards from uh, the mint player's hand, and they're you know random cards. You don't they don't choose what they give you. The third thing that could happen is if both players play a compromise card, and what you're gonna do there is you're gonna have one minute to make a deal. The way deals work is you are allowed to offer your opponents cards from your hand or. Uh, a base as part of you know a deal you can give them a base you can allow them to move tokens to a planet where you have a base um, you can never gain more than one base as a result of a deal to prevent someone from just like here you just win the game you can also offer them a specific card you can offer them like I'll give you an attack card that's higher than 10 um, I'll give you two random cards uh, you could also make deals where you include promises to perform an action in the future that's like a legal action you could do, um, but those kinds of promises are not binding and you could just you know take it back later and don't actually follow through with it. The main thing about deals is that one person has to um, get something out of it. They can't just be like, well, our deal is that nothing happens. Um, they don't have to be equitable and someone could get something and the other player gets nothing, but um, a deal has to do something for somebody. And uh, if the two players who are trying to make a deal can't reach an agreement within one minute, then they're both going to lose three tokens from their bases and they're going to be sent to the warp. Technically at the start of a deal you're supposed to take anything that was on the uh, hyperspace cone and return it because, you know, you didn't attack you made a deal so like these forces would be sent back home and whoever was attacking would be sent back home um, and you would try to make a deal. The game doesn't come with a timer so you know you have to supply your own but it does say that they are supposed to be one minute. 
Uh, if you ever have fewer than three bases occupied with your own tokens uh, in your zone, then uh, you are going to lose access to your alien power until you resolve that, until you manage to get more people back in your home planets. Um, I would assume that thematically this is sort of like your culture has kind of been watered down to the point where you've forgotten who you are as a people. Um, but there isn't really much of an explanation beyond it just happens. Um, and, you know, you'll just turn your player power face down and uh, carry on. If an attacking player successfully um, conquers a planet or makes a deal, then they are allowed to make a second challenge. Um, they can pass, they don't have to, but they are allowed to, you know, start over, draw a destiny card. They'll get to take a token from the warp as if it was the start of their turn. So effectively, like, you have the ability to take two turns in a row if you're successful with the first turn. If you failed um, to uh, invade a planet or you didn't make a deal, then your turn will just end immediately and you won't even get a chance to make a second challenge. If there's any um, conflict between uh, resolving powers or whatever, uh, the resolution is going to uh, be... The tiebreaker will be... Um, Players who are not main players go first, starting with the player to the left of the main player and going clockwise. Then it's the offensive main player and finally the defensive main player. So that's the order that you resolve any timing issues you have. Other than that, that's it. You are just going to play until um, someone gets uh, their bases out on five of someone else's planets. And that's simply cosmic. Uh, we cut the Destiny deck and Mint came up, so I'm going to start as Mint. So here we go. Uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, make a normal challenge in the system of the player to your left. Well, okay, All that's right. you. So, Take that, Rose. Oh, you're getting attacked. Oh, no. You chose your weakest planet. The right one. <laughs> so weak. Um, okay, so, uh... Man, how many bases are you going to send over there? I don't know. Um, I'm going to commit... Four. Oh. One from each of these ones. Man. Damn. Mess you up. But also weakening four of my five bases for other people to attack me. <sighs> So complex. Um, and I decided how many I put. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're gonna do well. All of them go. All of your defenders. Yeah, yeah. Go. All four yeah. of the ones oh, on that right, planet right, are right, yeah. automatically right. there. So it's a even. It's just down that two is. or cards basically. Correct. Um, I am not gonna ask for help. <sighs> I don't want to help you anyway. No, I don't need your help. Will you defend me? She's asking for help. Will you help me? Hmm. hmm. So basically, if you help her defend, get, you can get cards. You can get cards. One yeah. for every token you commit. Man. You can commit up to four. Man. I guess I'm going to send four defenders. Wow. Uh, uh. Well, that's going to go badly for you. And we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. And put me over there with those defenders. Ah. We'll see how it goes down. Uh, okay. Let's see. I'll see. I reevaluate. Now you've got. Let's see. I've got. You got to overcome that that eight automatic there. Oh, it's that plus the number. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whereas I'm getting four plus my number. Yeah. So, with no additional cards, we're just going to reveal it's yeah, here and see what happens. Ah! Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. I just lost those four, four yeah. mans. Right to the warp. I could have put my... Oh, well. Yeah, you <laughs> could have. All right, so... Um, your four <laughs> ships go back. Yeah. Yeah. Your four ships go back. And you get, you get to draw four cards. Yes. Um, your power yeah, I want lets that. you take this I'll take it. as the filters. Yeah. Yeah. 
See, that's what happened is you just you just gave him this big advantage by letting him help you. I know. Oh, well. It's All my turn. right. Yeah. Are you going to play any pre-challenge cards? No. Okay, then you're drawing Destiny. Oh. <gasps> that means destiny. you choose, and it's going to be the reverse. The reverse Space. wild card. So if I loot. So allies get the opposite of what they end up doing. Okay. So it doesn't really affect you as the person who's doing the attacking. Oh, okay. But if someone helps you in attacking, they won't get a base, <coughs> they will get cards. Okay. And if someone helps Help the defender, defending. they will get base. a base and not cards. Yeah. So you want to help the defender. Well, I mean, it depends well, on what, it depends you, what, you, what you want. want yeah. And what you have in your you know, cards. Um. Wait, um, no, one? you don't draw no. another destiny nope. card. Like you choose who you want to point the pointer yeah. at. Um, um, my bases with three are the weakest, so that's your best option. Yeah, I was gonna point to you. Yeah. Oh. I guess I'll do four. Wait. Uh... Reverses three. three. Oh, you can play however many you want. That's right. You can do one to four. Up to four. I was like, oh, taking two from <laughs> one base. Man. Um, uh, I'm not going to invite you to help me in tech. Man. You don't need to get more cards. <laughs> um, yeah, if I helped you defend, you'd get a base on one of your planets. On one of my planets. I don't know how uh yeah you can no you making that no. planet stronger in defense no I don't want your help wow wow I see how it is yeah you can sit this one out yeah okay I've already put my card down yeah, so. I was thinking of what I wanted yeah. to do oh oh I forgot because I'm the zombies yeah I think the, shouldn't tokens have, didn't go there yeah um, I was gonna say I don't know but here's all your turn tokens elsewhere you can free it okay so sorry like i'm silly these guys should have just zombie been hanging out back yeah so and this guy was here so now yeah. he's here okay so so it's four versus four station. like that just means like you could have chosen him or me and it doesn't really matter yeah. but like let's say yeah. you chose me because i was a, a dick and attacked you so. yeah because yeah. destiny <laughs> okay um i'm trying to decide what i'm gonna do <laughs> sorry i forgot i was a zombie yeah However, if I do lose this base, like if I lose all of the pieces on a base, then I can't put them on an empty planet. So, yeah. Um, okay. Oh. Compromise. So you're going to win. Okay. So you're going to take this planet, but I'm going to take four cards from your hand. Okay. You're going to choose or do you get random ones? Uh, random. random. Okay. I guess I'll just fan them out. Uh, I'm gonna have you shuffle this around before you found out in case you sorted them already. I did not. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna take your word for it. So, uh, and I guess you have the option of taking this compromise card because you're the filters. Um, Is it? I don't know. You have to read only when text you win. To see what what the definite text take of your thing is. Or take constellation. Um, I guess yeah, yeah. I'll take it. What's the text of your the exact text of your power? Um, after a challenge in which you're a main player, you may pick up opponent's challenge card. Yeah, so you so. can take that. But you not don't have the 10. Yeah, the 10's in the discard. Yep. Good. This is gone. Um, and my four guys are going to zombie back out to oh. the bases. Making my bases Stronger. super strong. Man, zombie's good. Okay. I'm okay, but... All right. Now I'm Let's now, see. She won that challenge, so she has the ability to make oh. a second challenge if she chooses. Do you want a second challenge? Uh, she can keep going, but she also has almost no, no, cards, no cards in her hand, so, no. <laughs> so she can also just pass. I pass. Destiny. Oh, man. That's my good card. Comets. No one can use any alien power during this challenge. So, I mean, you just go into the warp? Yep. Okay. Oh, no. And you can't flip your flop. Make a normal challenge in the system of the player with the most cards other than yourself. Yep. I got bad news. All my bases have five on them, though. 
Oh, well, actually, you could attack this I one. I attack Station. No. no, well, no, you don't attack her. You basically are attacking the my planet. forces on that yeah. planet. So my strength is zero plus my cards. Okay. So, like, that's your best So I wouldn't option. lose my people? Yeah, you're okay. there, you're fine. He's not attacking you, he's just moving in. Okay. I am going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to send just this one... Lonely boy. Alright. Um, you don't get to use your special power. Are you asking for allies? In your fight? Like, she's already there, so like she doesn't have any <laughs> motivation to help yeah, you. But, like, you do except you, for getting cards. I take help. Yeah, I, take I, will, help. I will help you. Yes. Well, you won't get a card oh, if you help attack. Oh, that's right. It's only defend. Yeah, so... Never mind. Oh, yeah, you can help me defend. Yeah. I invite you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll help defend. I need okay. Cards. Sorry, I need cards. So, so uh, you would... Um, How many defenders are you going to put out there? Yeah, you'd, you'd have to choose Shit, defenders from so your base weak. to do that. You're not going to use the four that are there? They're already sure, there, you could, you could pull guys know. from this planet. But then if I lose there, they go to there? Yeah, if you lose yeah. them anywhere, they go there. So I can pull from... You can pull, pull from anywhere, okay. yeah. Okay. Basically, you just don't want to like completely remove yeah. from... Any yeah. place. Um, F. <laughs> I'm really bad at games. I'm really bad at strategy. It's fine. Like, like I told you, this game is kind of a random nonsense yeah. a lot of the time. So. And you just want to have like five, five on so... someone on other planets that aren't yours. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you a plague. So you gotta discard three of your tokens to the warp from anywhere. And also one of each kind of card that you have in your hand. Mm. That's pretty rough. So attack, yeah. compromise, edict, reinforcement, flare. Okay. Cards discarded. I have to lose four tokens. Three. Three tokens. Well, I guess. The noble sorcerers had to deal with the plague. Okay. It was pretty unpleasant. Um. There's my card. Now oh. oh, you've discarded cards. Oh. Are you gonna sort? Oh, you can't sorcerer you because can't. you yeah. you're, yeah. you're yeah. blocked. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. sorcerers. You need to change your card as a result no. thereof. <laughs> <laughs> ah, compromise. I knew it. So, um, we lose. So you're not gonna get your things. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> So you guys go to the warp. Um, I'm gonna get nothing from you because I didn't have any guys committed to the thing. Yeah. But like, I also didn't lose good cards as a process. Uh, Your dude moves in. He was really powerful by himself. And you can choose to make a second challenge now if you would like. A second challenge. Okay. Uh, you get to start by taking one of these tokens back from the warp. Oh. It's kind of like your turn started over. Destiny. Sorry, Men Green. That's okay. It's a bad day to be Men Green. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, it's a bad day to be not Men Green because he's got five defenders on all his planets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can attack this one again if you want. No. Uh, <laughs> you can, if you wanted to, when you took that one, you could put him here. Because, like, it doesn't have to be in your home yeah. zone. I'm just yeah. pointing that out. That you can reinforce wherever mm -hmm. you have something, yeah. a stake in a planet. Yeah. Um, I need to have tokens on five different planets in another system, not and just not, five it, tokens. Just five different planets that are not yeah. colored the yeah. same. Yeah. I'm going to attack this guy over here, I right. guess. 
So I'm going to have five defenders. I'm going to attack. I guess I'm going to take uh, four boys to attack. Four boys, huh? Four boys. Are you going to invite someone to help you attack? I will. Uh, I'll invite someone to defend, so you have the choice of if you want to support either of us or neither of us. If I attack, I get... A base there. A base, and mm -hmm. if I defend, I get cards. Cards. Man. That's tough. I guess I will... So it's pretty much in a dead heat. Yeah. Uh, 5v5. Yeah. Um, what was the wording on that comet? Is it still in effect? Nope, it's out of effect. It was only for that challenge. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> right. I think you guys have better powers than me. Uh, well, you win. I guess I do. I don't know how. They're like negative strength. And still <laughs> um, all right. So uh, Wait, that make it zero. You get to take four cards from my hand. That's true. Uh, I mean, like. It does make it zero, yeah. but it's still but like okay. yeah. Still he played I don't think nothing. I understand the compromise card. He played. He played nothing. Yeah. Like you know. So like, I. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens to me? Uh, nothing. Yeah. We lose. So yeah, you yeah. get nothing. <laughs> Do I just go in the warp? No. Unless you want to play a reinforcement card we to go plus one and make your side. She was on a side. She can reinforce one way or another. Well, oh, no, but it doesn't matter because we play compromise, right? That just means we lose. Mm. One player plays compromise. The other play, plays an attack card. Player played the attack card wins. Uh, all losing sides tokens still go to the warp. Oh. Yeah, okay. Wow. Gonna help anybody. Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to help your thieving, awful yeah, alien so race. Okay. Um, Alright, so yes, you're gonna get uh, cards. four cards out of my hand. Oh, what did I get? Anything good? Mm, not really. Not really. <laughs> um. Remember, if you get to a point where you do not have the ability to play a challenge card, you're going to dump yeah. your whole hand and draw 70 yeah. cards. That's probably going to be what ends up happening for yeah. both of us, because we don't have any cards anymore. All right. Destiny! Lavender. All right. Oh, oh no. I don't need an ally. Oh. She doesn't need it. No, I don't. I know that she's got, like, no cards, so... Yeah, I'm not defending. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I see how it is. I feel like I've been purposely screwed over every time I've helped. Yeah. Alright. So, no. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shocked. That's such a great thing. Okay. Um, so... Ten to eight. Versus eight. Mm -hmm. uh, so... My guys come back to my planet. Yeah. Like nothing yeah. happens, yeah, effectively. That's, and... That's um, Let's come back to my planet... And then my turn ends because I can't. I, I failed to make a challenge, so. Okay. I, so it's my turn. But I don't get anything for successfully defending. That's right. 
I don't like draw cards or anything. Right. You just. I just want to make sure you that just we weren't successfully thing. held off the rebel forces. Yeah. yeah that's what yeah. I thought. Mm-hmm. You get to take one of your tokens back from the warp. Yeah, yeah. Take one of your turn. Yep, yep. Put it wherever you want on any of your you know, places. Um, so I'm attacking you. That's great. And it's going to be the reverse thing, so the yeah. ally bonuses are opposite. Yeah. Kind of uses me, but. Oh. And then, do I don't draw another one right now? No, that's, nope. It's just that. How many of those rose boys are you going to send over there? Okay. Yeah. Just two versus five? I'm going to laser oh. and make you select your challenge card before asking for allies. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, that was my last card, so I clearly don't have any more cards, so I've got to draw seven cards. Blind. So you've got your card selected. Are you mm -hmm. asking for allies in your uh, attack on the mint green sure. planet? Sure. Uh, I... Yeah. I'm probably maybe. Um, I'd get to draw cards. Yeah. You would get to draw cards. Yeah. Or get his things. Or get his pieces back from the warp. Yeah. <sighs> then <laughs> probably not. Wow. Let me read some wow. things. Wow. Hey, I've been. <laughs> I got totes wrecked. Right away. You're gonna get wrecked in this fight too. Probably. Yeah. I'm not asking for. Oh. Uh, I'm not asking for help either. Yeah. What? Yeah. Do it! Oh, no. Well, we won. We successfully defended our planet. Compromised. Yeah. And uh, you get two cards out of my hand. And then my things go warp? Uh... Welcome to the Warp Club! And you can take this one if you want it. Filch it. Sure. <laughs> Alright. It's destiny time. Oh, man. I have to make a normal challenge in the system of the player with the most yeah. total bases. Uh, I have four. Yeah, looks like Stacia has five. Yeah, yeah. so great. I mean, she has attack. six. Yeah. You both have six. Yeah. That's true. So you're challenging me? Well, I have to. Yeah. That's what yeah. the card told me. Great. Uh, I'm going to attack one of those twosers, I guess, for sure. Not the same one that Sean attacked, though, because those guys are apparently right. metal. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Over here, he, can, he, can, he can swap you. Yeah, I know, but... I feel like. But you can also steal whatever card he ends up playing. That's so if true. he swaps you, you can steal back the card yeah. that you played. Yeah. Double bluff. Oh. Did you take one token back oh, from the warp zone at the start of your turn? I didn't. Thanks for reminding me. Um, my guys are totally weak. Are you just sending one boy? My planets aren't very strong. We're spreading ourselves pretty thin. Oh, this is like the worst Bruce Springsteen song <laughs> ever. Uh... Like, neither of you asked for allies, so I just assume you don't <laughs> want help either way, um... and that's fine. You want to... You want to... Def... Uh... <laughs> well, how many cards do you have? I have four cards. Yeah, yeah. Look at all those cards. Wanna... He maybe I wants think... to draw some cards. I know he wants to put a put a base down on your bases. Yeah, I wouldn't mind putting a base down and you know at least being so, remotely competitive. Yeah. Well, then you wouldn't want to defend, right? You want right. to attack. I want to attack. So That's you right. Wouldn't, you wouldn't That's defend right. even. If I mean, asked. I don't know what's in it for me. Yeah, what's in it for um, him? Cards. Yeah. <laughs> you can, can take some pieces back want. from the warp. You can defend if you want. You can attack if you want. Mm. Uh, I will. Uh,
I'll defend. One, two, three, four. Sure you did. I did. It's okay, because no, no, you, no, no, you're no. not supposed to choose what card you do until now. Yeah, until yeah, that's fine. fine. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know what's happening. <sighs> Cosmic Encounter. I don't know what's happening. Right on the box. So, I'm trying to figure out. Uh-oh. You swapping? He's going to put this card down. Are you swapping? Okay. I hope you're going to regret that. Really okay. Wait, okay, so I would get cards? No, he would get cards. He would win, so he would get on he the base, you would lose your base. And then, I, then I was going to put that down, then we have to make a deal. Oh, well, that's true. So, doesn't matter. Sounds like we've got one minute to... I, mean, I don't understand the deal thing. That's practice the art of the deal. So... So automatically what's going to happen is because we're doing a deal is that these guys are going to go back to where they go. Oh, uh, art of the deal. Okay. So okay. what's I'm, your offer? What's your I'll offer? Put this down and we can take tokens back from the warp. Both of us get to take tokens back from the warp? Uh, so what that card is, is that it one allows, person gets to take. No, it um, just says you may return tokens from the warp as part of a deal. Yeah. Oh. So my oh. deal is... We just get to we take just some take tokens. our tokens back. But she's <laughs> saying that else? she'll she'll play this. Is it right now? Yeah, doing this phase. Uh, mm. It's this one. Thirty seconds. How about if you give me that card and then I promise to play no. it? No. <laughs> because the giving me <laughs> the card part it. of the deal is binding. The you playing it part of the deal is not binding. Fifteen seconds. Give me the card. No. I'll play it this I turn. Don't, I don't. You'll play it right now? Right now. So that you and I get five seconds. Things back. Four, things back. Three, I just say give us tokens. We get tokens back together one, right now. Okay, zero. deal. Okay. You what? said deal? What was the deal? Just take our tokens back. Just using the card right now. I'm okay. assuming that that is binding. That the giving somebody back tokens from the warp would be. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't say any like specific, so. <laughs> well, it'd be, you have that alien race's power. Well, I mean, it's kind of my power. My yeah. uh, The zombies, additionally, can free any player's tokens from the warp as part of a deal. So like, yeah. I, I'll, I'll have oh, the ability okay, to do that a in a deal is. thing. Okay. So you're saying that you have the ability to do that right now. Yeah. So uh, that's this what you guys limiter, agreed to. Is it a limiter or we just to? take all of our... Because we each have five. Well, it, we just I mean, said, it just says take you, a... You have the zombie very, power, effectively. Yeah. So... All right, so... Yeah. Um, Nothing good is happening for the zombie people. <laughs> Your power is too great, so no one wants to help you. We've just okay. super fortified four of our planets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I can... Wait, no. I was being attacked. Did you want to filch? Um... There's no reason not to. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. It could be a helpful card again. So, was that a successful No, it turn? was unsuccessful. <laughs> it was terrible. Unsuccessful. That means it's yours. Was it unsuccessful because you made a deal? I mean, we compromised, so I didn't, like, succeed in the Yeah, attack. so what happens when that, when you make a deal? Is that just the deal? If you win an attack or successfully make a deal, oh. you may choose to make a second challenge oh. or you may pass. So I guess. Okay. I guess... I'm gonna destiny card then. Oh, pink! Yes. Oh, oh! I'm sorry, pink. Oh, reverse, reverse things too. Oh man, I'm gonna attack. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay. This three planet with. So if you defend, you get a base, right? That's right. Yeah. And we successfully defend. Mm -hmm. I wish I, I want to be like, look at my cards. <laughs> Help me make decisions. <laughs> yeah, if you put five. <sighs> oh, wait. All right. Wait. Uh, oh, wait. Oh. Never mind. Okay. 
As the attacker, are you asking for allies? I will. As the defender, are you asking for allies? Um, yeah. I'm uh, gonna help defend. <sighs> Doesn't matter where they come from, so. Oh, man. One, two, three, four. It's so tricky to do. I know, what am I gonna do this time? I know, where are you getting? Am I gonna swap cards? Am I gonna play a card out of my hand? Uh, How boned are you? like. I can't look at your hand. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. that should be part of it. No discussion. I no. mean, honestly, we're looking at three of the alien races in this game. There are probably alien races that do things with looking at people's hands. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. probably a thing. That's true. That's true. So, yeah. four. Man, you don't even want to successfully seven. defend. Look, he's going to drop four of his slimy zombie people onto your planet. I just. It's so hard to know <laughs> if you're going to, like, switch it. That's true. That's true. I guess that's, yeah. I, I was thinking it didn't matter where they came from, but it, it is saying that I'd be committing them to. Yeah. So I'm saying that I'm pulling. I, I am putting four there, but I'm just, I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah just distribute from. them reasonably. Right, well, yeah. I guess I'll just. This is tough. What are you going to do? Come on, Fry! Come on! Come on! Alright, 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 alright. I think either way I'm just boned, so. Are you swapping? Yeah. Swapping. I would, I would do not swap every turn. I would. Oh. I had that power. Here we go! Oh! Yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> Come from, like, I know that that's what's gonna happen every time. Did I mean I get four cards, though? As consolation, draw one card from your opponent's hand for each of your tokens lost in the challenge. Okay, so I get three cards. Not counting your allies' tokens. Okay. Zombies receive consolation for each zombie token involved in the challenge. Oh. The allies get nothing. Okay. Oh, did I... Oh, oh you just lost. Yeah, I just lost. Yep. We just put everything back. Okay. So her things went to the warp. Your yep. tokens we just put back on your planets equally distributed. Comet! Oh! All attack cards count as half value this challenge, half the value dropping fractions before calculating other card effects. Terrible. Make a normal challenge in the system of the player. To your right. Uh. Oh, oh no! Uh. <laughs> oh no! One, two, three, four. You gotta get in this game, Sean. You gotta get a base. I gotta, yeah. Right now, I just, if we stopped now, I'd just lose. Yeah. What if I don't have a challenge card? Then you would you play draw. any legal cards you can play, then you'd discard everything and draw seven cards. Okay. The game doesn't tell me that you have to, like, reveal your hand to me, but, like, just don't be a, don't be a douche and, just, like, yeah. only do that if you actually can't play a challenge card. Okay, well, I can't play any of those, so none of them are legal. Okay. I mean, I could have played one of them and given Stacia back her tokens. Hmm. Oh. But she didn't want to compromise with me earlier. I don't, I don't believe you <laughs> saying you'll do it later. <laughs> Need a binding contract. I'm a, a dirty, I'm a dirty alien race contract. that steals things. So That's exactly why nobody trusts you. I mean, look at this guy's. Let's see. His kind of look like uh, some a an alien from Star Wars. I don't know the race or the character's name, but like. Okay. Very specific okay. character. It kind of looks like that guy. I. I find it. I'm going to play one of these cards. I'm gonna say it'd have a stupid name like. Jet Morpho. I mean, what, it's fair. what's his name? Zam Drashner. That's a pretty he good is name. In one of like Jabba's. What the fuck? What about Greedo? <sighs> Wink Dinkley. <laughs> did you swap us? Wrong. I did. Oh, we got swapped. Huh. Oh, well, we got one minute to make a deal. Oh, oh, oh. 
Deal. Um, deal. Deal. So you let me take that base. I will give you two of the three cards in my hand. All right. How about this? You get one base here, and I get one base on one of your planets. Uh, how about you give me that base, I give you all of the cards in my hand. <laughs> how about I let you put two bases here, and I get one in yours. How about you let me take that base there, and I give you no cards in my hand. <laughs> Tough bargain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 20 seconds. How about you realize that I'm zombies and I'm not going to lose ships, so I don't <laughs> care if I, don't, <laughs> if I drag this out. How about if we go back? How about, how about if we go back Nine, to all the cards? Eight, all the cards. Eight, all the cards. Seven, all the cards. Six. How about if I just let you put your four guys here gonna, and my three guys go there, too? You're going to lose your yes. ships, buddy. How, how about we nope. just have... How about we just, you just nope. lost your ships and nothing happened for me. <laughs> Technically, I believe my guys come back to my planet and then I'm required to discard three. Is that right? Um, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. These are, in fact, back on the ship, and you lose three from wherever you want. Yeah, there so. you go. That's funny. But yes, like that. Oh, that's kind of... So I'm going to lose one from over there. Okay. Okay. Still zombie. I was not successful in making a deal, so it was the end of my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. Fabulous. Oh. Hey, did you take one of your tokens back at the start she of your turn? Not. I uh, don't have any challenge cards, so I'm going to dump my hand and draw seven okay. cards. Oh no! You could have had those cards. That's true. You're not gonna. You're not gonna throw out Everyone four boys. Puts down. Do you want to ask for allies? Oh, do you want to help me attack? Well, are you? Is that the only guy you're sending? Yeah. She wants to know if I would like to help her attack. Do you want to? Do you want me to help. help you defend? No. 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 You don't need cards. I, I would like some cards. You don't need though. it. I don't want your help. <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you successfully attack, you get another base and you're closer to winning. Yeah, that's true, but you didn't commit enough to that attack for me to feel you like... Know what, you know what cards I have. I do not know what cards you have. Oh, All right, fine, I'll help you attack. I just, I'm so afraid of these compromised cards now. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't want to waste good cards. Yeah, see, and I don't want to waste... Well, he quit, yeah. so he's going to redistribute his five know, tokens like, on his three matter. planets. You and I are each going to get one base there. And he's going to attack that base at some point. You made a good choice with just playing your six, though. Good job. I had one that would have been better, but it's fine. Actually... You can make another challenge if you want. Mm, you were successful. That's true. I got. If you do, do you get another token back. That's true. Do I want to hold up? And I can. I just still draw a card. Right? Hold up. Yep. Sure. I'll gamble on this. Oh. Let's try to make the game go a little faster. Okay, first, I gotta take. You get one of those back and put, put it on any you planet. Have a, have a token on a yeah. circle. Oh. So you put it here. You can put it here. You What's put the it advantage here. of having more than? Is there really? Any I advantage? could. Have, I could choose to like. If he draws like green, he could attack. Oh, he can, okay. Our own planets, oh, yeah, know. that are in his system. Remember, yeah, stay station. Whatever you want. If we can kick him out, he loses his zombie power. If he doesn't have any oh. of his planets anymore. Well, we still have to give her three planets. <laughs> Do I want to? Let's see. He's only got two on three of his planets. I know, but he has the swappy power. And he will always use the swappy <laughs> power. So. 
But mm, I don't know. You can double bluff him, and he'll swap you, and then you steal your card back that you played. No, I don't believe. See, I'm like, I don't know what would... Because he'll just put down a compromise. Also, <laughs> like, also before on. before you did any of this, didn't don't you have like a pre-challenge card you keep wanting to play? Yeah, but it's, there's kind of no point to it now. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to keep attacking you. Because... Wow. All right. Okay. Attack this guy okay. with the six. That's seven. Seven. <laughs> This um, is the guy with six. Yeah. It's either lose dudes or lose good cards. Like, that's the game. <laughs> those are like the, game. the resources that you have in the <laughs> yeah, game. Those, yeah, are, and it sucks. those are the two things you can do. But you know, I'd rather lose cards than dudes, right? That's probably the better thing. First of all, do you want to ask for help? Do you want to help me? Do you want to get on another base and Yeah, I'd, I'd attack you. Yeah. No, or help you. Him. Help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'll, come, I'll come send one of the... I'll, so I'll send another salty three. boy over there. So you almost... I want to finish this game, so... <laughs> I see. All right. <laughs> Ready? Wait. No. Okay, let's go. Oh, well, there you go. Good you succeeded. Reeves, do me those six guys <laughs> over there, and you'll have ten and ten. All right, we. You see, I keep attacking Green. Finish this up. Let you win, Rob. Oh. Let's I get, see. I get the game. I'm like, let's finish this up. All right, let's destiny. Oh, comet. No powers. If you if only one of the two main players plays. An odd attack card, that player wins the challenge. Otherwise, determine the winner normally. Did you um, take a token back to start of the um, you, oh, yeah. um, Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. So Any it's play an odd turn. card to yep, win? Yep, play an odd card to win if your opponent does not play an odd card. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, we ignore that second comet. Stay shut. I've got to attack pink. All right, well... Let's finish this up. I'm going to land over here with those matter. three. So if I... What was it? Okay. Two. Three. Oh, well, four. Do you want to... <laughs> I would accept help attacking. Do you want to help defend? He wants to get another base. <laughs> <laughs> um... The I, game will be over. I, I want to end the game, so yeah. I'm going to help attack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, either way. I don't swap. You don't swap? No. Ooh. Are you going to reinforce? Plus two. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's not on your side, it's on our side. Wait, no, it's I'm attacking odd. you. Wait, what? So that's over there? Yeah, yep. yeah. Plus two, 19. It's still 19. It's still <laughs> odd, so you still win. It's, well, it's 19, 20, 21, yeah. 22, Wait. 23, 24, 26, 27. It's four. It's still odd. <laughs> well, it's, the card I played is yeah. odd, but yeah. you also played an odd card, so then it becomes normal yeah, resolution. Yeah, so it doesn't matter, so, still, yeah. so the game's still over. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. Oh, play. all these boys. That's okay. One foreign planet. Right there. <laughs> Come home. Oh, wait, I've got it. Three. Making a stronghold. <laughs> See, that's more like fun. Zombie sorcerers. Simply cosmic. Does it live up to the title? Is it simple? No. Or is it cosmic? Uh, I mean, there's like pictures of stars on the backgrounds of the challenge cards. Fair. Um, there are aliens. Comets. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you haven't played, like, Cosmic Encounter. That's true. I have never played Cosmic Encounter. Um, except for Simply Cosmic. Yeah. This is your only experience, and you've had multiple true. experiences with Simply Cosmic. True. Um, you know, it's an old game. Like, it came out 1977. It's the first edition of Simply, uh, of Cosmic Encounter. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is... Based off of the Mayfair Games one, which came out in 1991. Okay. Um, Simply Cosmic came out in 1995. So four years later, they're like, introductory version. We need to make... Simplified. Um, fewer, cheaper. Yeah, che cheaper. Yeah, cheaper. Fewer aliens. Um, 
So, I think in 1995, this had a place. It made sense because um, I'm, I'm trying to look at the box and see what the MSRP was. Um, I don't I don't see it, so I'm not worried about it. It's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, I don't see it on there either. Uh, I know that in 1995 dollars, the MSRP for a Cosmic Encounter was 35. I only know that because there's a page on the back of the rule book. Is like, if you like this, you could order a real copy of Cosmic Encounter for 35 dollars, mm-hmm. or more Cosmic Encounter for 35 dollars, or get some blank cards for five dollars. And here's an address. And I'm confident that that. I don't even think Mayfair exists anymore, actually, at this point, but uh, I'm pretty sure that address doesn't do anything. It was also amusing that shipping was $2 per item you added to your order. I was like, those were the days. Yeah. Those were $19.95, yeah, though. Yeah, so. yeah. Anyway, in that context, this would have been probably significantly cheaper. I don't know how much significantly cheaper, but enough that if... The two things were both at retail, new and shrink, and you didn't have any idea what Cosmic Encounter was. It might make sense to buy a cheap, quick version of it mm-hmm. that has cards and player abilities that are specifically tailored to an introductory experience. Because Cosmic Encounter is an awkward game. Uh, it's really well loved, and that's fine, and I have no problem with it really, but. Anytime I've been around people who are trying to explain it to someone who hasn't heard of it before, they are confused. Uh, it doesn't play like other games that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, it's definitely odd. And so, until you are comfortable with it by having had the experience of played through a game of it, really, it's just like, I don't get it. I don't know. There's these weird variables that are happening. I don't know how to deal with it. Um or mechanically, it's not even really that complicated of a game. You just want to get your bases out and you mm-hmm. know spread spread your pieces out in the galaxy, and that's it. Um, but for some reason, just the um, terminology that they use is strange. the The way that the phases are broken down is kind of strange. Um, so I can understand that someone might have wanted. Uh, a simple version of the game, and that's why this exists. Sure. Today, I don't think it needs to exist because it doesn't, you know, there's already... The the most recent edition of Cosmic Encounter is superior in every way, I'm in my opinion. Like, it's there's somebody probably who thinks that their original version is better for... Whatever reason. Whatever yeah. reason. But I think that they've made a lot of changes to the system over the years... That are um, aesthetic changes that make sense and uh, functionality changes, like um, as simple as like putting text directly on the cards that tells you when you can play this card and mm-hmm. how it functions and how it changes the function depending on who you are when you're playing it, kind of a thing. All of that is kind of like directly explained on a per card base, and I think that's necessary for. As complex as it is. When it gets strange um, based on uh, how being an attacker works versus being a defender versus being an ally for either side. And then there's Mm -hmm. like that reverse version of the thing that changes it. I think it's you you either need someone who knows how to play the game or you need more direction than what this edition of the game gave you. Sure. Um, If you have the Mayfair edition of the game and you want the extra um, races that are in this edition, like that's the only reason I can see someone like wanting this specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd agree with that. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I like the, um, the components for the races are, Instead of cards, they're like standee pieces that are Mm. strangely durable, Mm -hmm. and you stand them up, um, and you can read what your power is at all times, and that's, you know, like, it's not really that big a deal. Um, Like, the current edition, and probably most editions, it's just a card that lays flat on the table, and no one else can 
really like they have to kind of like look over and try to see your thing it's really like easy to tell who everyone is when they're standees Mm -hmm. and so i like that it's not necessary but you know it's like oh look there's zombies over there yeah um uh otherwise the components like outside of that you you were talking about aesthetic changes for the new edition i was like man um Simply Cosmic didn't even, like, it's it's actually worse than the version of Cosmic Encounter that existed at the time. Like, yeah. the the tokens for your uh, bases are just awful yeah, little... Yeah, terrible little uh, cardboard, cardboard pieces. Um, with just, like, circles on them. Mm. Like, Alright, that's a base. Um, now and the interlocking pieces that... That just break because... Yeah, just awful condition. Um, um, immediately. The, the cone... It's mm. just, it looks stupid. Um, like, even now, like, it it still, like, functionally looks stupid in the modern edition because it's a cone. Like, it doesn't need to be a cone. Um, but, uh, it, like, graphic design-wise, just, it's gray and awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Simply Cosmic. Yeah, just everything it's... about the, the graphical choices in this edition... Of, it was a different time. Uh, it was mid nineties. Wow. Bill Clinton was president. You know. Um, so, yeah, and that's what I actually was explaining the game. So I was like, yeah, you know, this is the version from the eighties. Is what I said at the time because I kind of like mentally had a gap where I thought like, yeah, this looks like a game from the eighties. It's not. It's, yeah. Uh, um, but we've talked for, before about how you know Mayfair has had issues with games looking dated or components not not being mm. very attractive and this isn't much of a leap from that um yeah lots of you know grayscale gradient action mm-hmm. going on mm-hmm. uh how do you feel about the game as from a gameplay standpoint since that you don't have anything to compare it to so i feel like simply cosmic just kind of feels kind of boring to me like the races that are in it are all like you said like really basic um i feel like even if i owned this edition of cosmic encounter like the 1991 mayfair and i was really into it like i don't know that i'd even care about having these races because i don't think they're good i mean they might be good in like like in working comparison, against something yeah. else. Yeah, maybe. Like the thing, and we've talked about this before. Like the reason that you get the new version of Cosmic Encounter, like the current one, is that there are just hundreds and hundreds of like alien races. I don't know right? how many there are, but that there's a, enough there that like the it's a lot. After you pick up each expansion, like the combinations, especially you mm-hmm. know if you're not playing with eight players every time, like you're gonna have a lot of replayability out of it. Um, obviously, replayability is an issue with this when there are only eight or nine yeah. races. Yeah. Um, and uh, my other big issue with this one is it only goes up to four players, and I don't think that Cosmic Encounter is a good game. At below like five. I mean. It might be okay with the right group before, but I probably wouldn't want to play it. I'd choose other things mm. because there are so many four-player games. Yeah. Um, I I hesitate to say that like the, a, a good thing about Cosmic Encounters is that it can go up to eight players with the expansions because I'm not sure that everybody would want that experience. <laughs> mm-hmm. But um, I definitely think that the the player count for that like you do not play with two like, oh yeah, just, yeah. Just we've, we tried to play this with two at one point and it was terrible uh, i think it was one of not not like in the first group of games i played with you but like it was in the was early, early years yeah. and uh um man it was awful uh <laughs> it's not a lot better with three mm-hmm. um there's just not enough going on to keep it moving at a pace that feels right because um if you have you know more players then 
the pieces get spread out easier. Mm -hmm. And so it's easier to target things and kind of like there's sort Mm -hmm. of a coming and going of power. And it's a lot more likely that you're going to have alliances form as people like tend to support each other Mm -hmm. where three players like just nothing happens. You either help the person who's attacking or the person who's defending. Yeah. Or don't. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I was playing as the zombies and I just was generally like, I don't care. Like, I'm not going to lose my pieces anyway, so whatever. I'm going to fail to negotiate again. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, I, since I've played actual Cosmic Encounter, mm-hmm. uh, I don't, I haven't played it enough to really feel, like, charmed by it, I guess. But I also don't have any... I, I, I'm i kind of indifferent to it. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll play it. If people want to play it, I'll play it, and I'm fine with that. And I'm, uh, I'd be um, engaged in seeing how different uh, player abilities interact with each other from game to game. Because I absolutely have not seen the scale and breadth of what is possible yeah yeah the wide variety of abilities um i feel like this specifically would get boring real fast um because you play a couple games you've seen all the players you know and so now you know what the abilities are and there you go um so unless you want this specifically for like a collection reason or for to match with your Mayfair edition, I don't think anybody needs this. I think it's dated and has no real place in uh, anybody's collection now. And even gameplay wise, I don't think it's like that enjoyable to play because of the way it's hampered because it's a stripped down version. In uh, if they were to like print a new expansion for the current iteration of cosmic encounter that was a you know like simplified introductory here's an expansion with some races that you can put into your current set really cheap price tag i think it would make sense you think it would make sense because i think cosmic encounter retail wise today costs the same as any other you know large Mm -hmm. well-renowned game um, and so, you know, if you're making a decision between buying that or something else that's well regarded, um, the swaying uh, factor might be cost. Mm-hmm. Um, the expansions are not necessarily cheap themselves. Yeah. Um, so it would make sense to me if uh, they decided to. Um, I mean, there's. There's already so many cards for it that I don't know if they plan on making any more expansions at this juncture. Yeah. But it would make sense to me to make a smaller version of the game uh, that um, has, because, you know, Cosmic Encounter now has those ridiculous uh, spaceship pieces. Yeah. Like, yeah. it doesn't yeah. need to have those. Like, that's a great selling point for the big game, but that's also a cost factor. Yeah. Um, a whittled down version probably would do okay, um, but also Cosmic Encounter has been around for a long time, and finding a used copy is not that difficult because sure. people either really like Cosmic Encounter or they don't. Yeah. Um, and I don't really actually know where I stand on the spectrum because I just haven't engaged with it enough. I've engaged with this enough to know that I don't want to play simply Cosmic anymore and it doesn't need to. Mm-hmm. I don't need it. Mm. So, um, that's how I feel about that. Rating? As. Would you give it separate ratings for as a game, as a standalone experience, and as an expansion? I really can't give it a rating as an expansion because I don't know... Don't know the base races. For the Mayfair, the Mayfair edition, edition, I don't yeah. know. Uh, well, how... Since you haven't played Cosmic Encounter, what do you rate this? Because you can only have an isolated experience for it. It's like... like probably four-ish. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean... Like, I think the gameplay is reasonable, so I almost want to give it like a five, but... Like, aesthetically, it is so displeasing that 
that pulls down any score I would give it a bunch. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've been doing at least several videos recently where I've brought up, like, this game just do it doesn't need to exist. Like, there are just so many other options that I can't give it a better rating because of just your other options and just the fact that there are more complete and better looking versions of Cosmic Encounter available. Even if it functions as a game, I'd give it like a three. Yeah. yeah. So. Super Cosmic is not very good. It's a game that takes... You pushed away before I could read the box. <laughs> it's a game that breaks its own rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your spirit. Mm. Again, I feel like I would need to play it with like people that don't piss me off to like get a <laughs> real good uh, barometer on that Barack Obometer. You're gonna have to move around. Gonna have to chase you down. 